Hey, what's up, I'm Gravity Games Boy? Lost Gravity with two V's back at the game with a whole other case and one other video breakdown of uh, 460 subscribers. I think 462 even. So we got like a couple more until we hit 500. But that's what's not what y'all came for. Y'all came for this disturbing case. I don't know what they did to make it disturbing, but let's get into it. Y'all already know. I don't know what the fuck. 2015, 2009. A woman named Heather Strong like, come subscribe. The case came to the attention of the major crimes unit at Marion County, Florida, when her own mother called to inform the police that she has not seen or spoken to her daughter for over a month. Straight away, the detectives suspected her husband, so Josh Fulham, to have something to do with her disappearance. This is because of the fact that he was still looking after their children but never once calling the police or asking anyone about his wife's whereabouts. He was also seeing another woman named Emilia Carr and was planning to move in with her. In the next clip, you will see both Josh and Emilia's interrogation footage, which was happening simultaneously like, in two ooh. rooms adjacent to one another. The same detective would go back and forth between the rooms to compare and contrast their stories, hoping for one of them to slip up. So what happened? Trying to get things wrapped up. Trying to get all the shit. Everything is serious. Tell me about the last time you saw her. And it was the 15th of last month. She called the house. And we just went to talking about it. she was having problems. She said she was going to call her daughter. Want me to keep the kids, but when she gets it cleared up, she's coming home. And mm -hmm. Heather always coming home. So she's going to go back to her. Tell me something. I don't think she's missing. Hey, let me know if y'all see it. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Let me know if y'all seen any uh updates about this case or what's going on prior to this video. Because I don't know who these I'm people are right or there, what happened, for real. There's probably four houses. I'm going to figure out why you ain't done it yet. Because I'm done cooking. Right? I'm done cooking. Were you and Amelia together then? We wasn't living together. We were sick. We were talking. Talking about getting a place and stuff. Yeah. So if I find a video, will she tell me the same thing that you told me? Yes, sir. That's what yeah, they interviewed separately. I forgot he said that. <laughs> you look tired, too. Very tired. Let me just get some understanding between you and Josh. Mm -hmm. How long have you guys been knowing each other? Me and had a relationship off and on for almost two years. How far along were you? I'm eight months. Damn. Eight months. Yeah. Um, have a relationship between you, Josh, and Heather. They split up. Me and him tried a relationship. And then oh, so he wanted to work things out for his kids' sake. And it must be Heather that, that's like the the one that's missing or something like that. Or... We parted ways since February. We've been trying to work things out, see if we can possibly try a relationship again. So things have been rocky. As a woman. You think Josh is capable of doing something or would do something to her? Honestly, no. I don't think he would hurt the mother of his kids. During the interrogation, the investigators find CCTV footage of Josh withdrawing a large sum of cash from an ATM machine using his missing wife's card. Dang. This certainly raises suspicion, and the detectives decide to question him about it. <laughs> Did you use the card? Okay. Use your credit card. You got money off of it. Which one? Okay. Work card. You got money off of it. I can use the money off. Yes, you did. Do you want to grow your YouTube channel? Hey, you should consider getting TubeBuddy. I've been using TubeBuddy for the last year. Sorry, y'all. He lying, though. You ain't getting no money off of it. I didn't get no money off of it. You, you ain't getting no money off of it. So he got hit from the store shit. with the kids. And she was with him. <laughs> and he drove her and the kids back to, to his mom's house. To, to his mom's house. To drop the kids off. And then she asked him to drop them 
to drop her off. Drop her off where? Wow. I don't even think Petro. And that's the last time he said he saw her. Yeah. That you picked her up okay. and the kids. You took the kids to your mom's and that you dropped Heather off at Petro. That's what it makes sense. Oh, you don't lie. Just, like, Man, that ain't good, Josh. What you that night, Josh? No, she did not. She did. Josh, she left with you that night. You hold it to the mother of He's your on child, camera Josh. with her car. You hold it to the mother of your child. You got pissed off. I know that. But I'm telling you, she left oh, with you. She, you she did not hurt Josh. Crazy. Josh. Tell me the truth, man. I know uh, yeah. Josh. Yeah, man. I was hungry. I was hungry. I had you, man. The detectives would now lie to Emilia and tell her that Josh has incriminated her. This is a technique detectives use often to get the suspects to not trust each other, making them more likely to confess or try to tell their side of the story. Right. I'm telling you that he said that you told him that you guys took care of him and for him not to worry about her anymore. Your boyfriend has thrown you under the bus. Right now, you guys are in a triangle. And look where it's at. Okay? You got him loving her more than he loves you. Now, just being honest. Jeez. If you know something, it's going to come out. It's a big love for him. You got to tell me the truth. Every time I met you, you went to my bed. You tell me. I want to do this. I want to tell her no. And you don't want to tell me so much. And you continue to conceal all this Sheesh. stuff. So that shows me that you had a little bit more part in it than what you tell us. You know, what, you show, man? what she told you. He did that to his ex-wife. Yeah, yeah, Brody out of his mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he yeah, he not stable. Don't worry about it. Leave it alone. He said you don't want to come up She's missing like she did. Kids. What the The hell is his problem? You wanted them kids. You know that. I know you knew that. The bullshit that one of us to. One thing that a man must always understand is that she's the mother of your child. And you may hate her, but you still love her because she's the mother. She gave birth to your child. Give her that much respect. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. I'm here. I'm stressed on that. I'm going to fall asleep here. He just so um damn dude. He fucked up for that one. Lack of evidence. Josh. She told it all though. Damn me. After hours of interrogation nah. and pressure being put on him, no. just like mm -hmm. most suspects, Josh finally Hell gets no. off. The pressure of constantly trying to lie gets harder and harder the longer the interrogation goes on. The detective knows that he has just made a huge breakthrough in the case, but must stay calm and composed in order to not alarm the suspect and cause him to change his mind. Mm-hmm. But they already know what he done did. You won't take me by and let me talk to mom. You take me heaven first. You can't talk to me by my mom. That's a problem. I don't want to sit out for you. I want you to talk to me about sir. Yes, Josh takes the detectives to Emilia's caravan and points to a huge patch on the ground behind it and says, that's where she is. The detectives immediately get a warrant to dig up the ground and discover Heather's body folded up inside a black bag, just a foot on the ground. The investigation has officially gone from a missing person Jeez. to a homicide. Both Emilia and Josh are brought back to the police station for further questioning. Why did he? I want to know why he did that. About you being involved. About her body, maybe in your backyard. I'm hoping you pray to God she's not in my mom's backyard. Is that sick? Did you hear anything around the house? When you live around, you don't hear anything. The bad people pull up all the time and knock on the back door, and we don't hear it. I understand how hard it is for me to believe this. I know. Tell me what happened. I wasn't Stop. 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 I've seen this 
same face. Okay. I've seen those same eyes. I've seen it. I saw it all night last night. Okay. I didn't hurt her. Okay, but you were there. Now, we go in and out of that trailer. We store stuff there. I mean, if you didn't notice, it's full of our stuff. That is so sick. He buried her in the back. Hey, my bad if I keep moving the uh, camera and all that, yo. I just keep trying to get comfy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Both of them to crack. They smart. They're like, yeah. They know it's a two-person job. But this, they, and they, they went. They, the way they went about this whole case is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know they be doing that shit on a daily basis, but the way they went about this was specifically that shit. Not that shit off. So. Juicy. The next part, you'll hear an audio recording set up by the investigators in order to catch Emilia on her lie. They placed wires on Josh's sister, Michelle, and asked for her to meet Emilia in a car park where they would discuss the current situation. Josh's sister would now try to incriminate Emilia and get her to admit Let's that she had the part of the murder. The think she gonna say in this damn audio. ...in a car park just across the street. Unaware that she was being recorded and that she has just confessed to a murder, oh. Amelia Carr is called back to the police station. Oh man. Had a conversation with Josh's sister. Okay. 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 Okay.
and she tried to paint herself like they said to be the best, like the like the. Oh, I I was just I just hit her with the flash like nah. Conversation. Nah. Was recorded. You told that girl today you tried to break her neck and it didn't work. Remember that? Do you remember that? Remember those words? I'm not talking to you in time. I'm talking to person to person. Respect. I don't want to assume that you nodded your head. But is that right, that you were there with Josh when Heather took her last breath? I can't hear you. We're sitting in this chair. Show me where you were standing. It's okay, I trust you. When you were standing behind her, trying After she was taken. I made a little attempt because I was scared and I was shaking. I told him I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And then I stepped back. And he went around and he took care of it. But you tried to snap her neck because you wanted it to be Because I was quick. scared. You wanted it to be quick. I didn't want to suffer. You didn't want her to suffer, so you tried to break her neck. And I couldn't do it because I was shaking so bad. confession, both Josh and Emilia were sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole. Damn. Emilia was initially given the death sentence, but that was later overturned. Okay, so that right there was an interesting ass case. Great case right there. The the, the pregnant lady tried to spin it on the boyfriend. The boyfriend tried to spin it on the pregnant lady to say that they both on there when they both was there and they did the deed. But y'all already know it's a boy last grab with If y'all want another video like this, like, comment, subscribe, y'all know. Thank y'all for joining the game. A whole bunch of new faces. I see y'all new faces in here. Like, comment, subscribe on the channel, man. Get back to it.